What is up MTV Review? It's your girl Chloe and I'm back with another video. So let's hop right back into that thing. Alright y'all, so if y'all can't tell by that title, we are doing a Step Up High Water Review Episode 2 Season 3. Before we even start off with this review, by the end of me watching this episode, I don't like, I don't like Angel. I don't like her. I feel like she's trying to take over the Lee spot, okay? I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't like Angel. I don't like Angel and I can run down little mini bullet points on why I don't like Angel. But I don't like her. It's something about her that's just not sitting right in my spirit with me. So, we get into the episode and we see, of course, Angel and we see Odalie. Now, Odalie, she's dancing and she's in this room and can't nobody see her dancing or whatever. And Angel in the background, she just like on the outside watching her and she like dancing like after her. You know, she a fast learner. She pick up real fast. So, she dancing after Odalie. Ooh. In my head, when I seen that, I'm like, she gonna take Odalie's spot best believe she's going to take orderly spot because ain't no way first off angel like literally loves orderly she is a big fan of orderly and i know right now it don't seem like it because throughout this episode it really seemed like angel was being a good friend it really seemed like that like she's giving her advice she's helping her she's telling her oh yeah you should go and buy this house <sighs> messing up a happy home with davis and Odalie, but we're gonna get on to that a little bit later we get to see poppy and her mom and they're going through it okay her mom found out that she left the tour for rico and she like yo sage was your meal ticket like how could you leave the tour for rico so she kicked uh poppy out poppy out the house you know she told her i'm not doing this mess again with you like mm -mm, you could have been up out of here you could have been popping now i can see her mom is giving her tough love right now but at the same time i wish her mom wouldn't have kicked her out but these are the things that make or break you okay poppy gets kicked out um and she meets up with colette and colette's telling her you know, because her and Rico, because in the last episode, Poppy, Rico, and Colette was supposed to have a meeting. So the meeting comes around and Rico is no show. So she's over here telling uh, Poppy, like, like y'all y'all making a deal. Y'all trying to be all ballsy and stuff. But where's Rico? If you don't get me Rico, I'm going to have you blacklisted. You ain't going to dance no more. We own Rico. He ain't gonna be able to play no more music. Nothing. And it's just like, everybody's back is against the wall up in this. Literally watching this episode, it's like everybody is like back against the wall. Pushed into a corner, forced to do things to help them prevail. Like, Poppy, she's in a corner. First off, she done got kicked out of her house. Her mom done kicked her out the house. Then, you got Colette down her back trying to get Poppy to persuade Rico to do this tour or her career is on the line. Like, so she got two things stacked against her and she's trying to like prevail and do these things. And it's hard for, and I don't feel like everybody in this episode, I feel like everybody in this episode was doing things disingenuously. I hope that's the word because if it's not, Lord Jesus. And Colette had gave her some, Colette had gave Poppy some advice. She was like, you know, flex on them. Flex on them and, and do your whoop, 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 your move or whatever. Um, Basically, when Colette's saying that to her, get on his soft side. Do stuff that he like. We see Colette do this multiple times with Sage. She has to, she, know, she knows the angle to hit Sage with to get him to agree to the things that she wants. She's making plays. Okay, and all she needs is a yes from him to, for him to agree. All these things, him getting Rico. She already talked to Rico. Only thing she needed was Sage to hop on board. But she caught him when he, you know, was in his moment where he kind of like let his little guard down, his little prize, little ego, whatever. You know how Sage be. 
and then you know she sweet talk him and then she hits him with it like pew. and then he'd be like oh, okay i'll do it and then she's like all right pat i already talked to him and then he just like what you done played me you done played me literally you done played me and we see we see poppy do the same thing at the end of the episode with rico she dancing with him Oh, she's talking to him, you know, getting on his good side. She's saying stuff that she know he wants to hear. She know Poppy knows how to get to Rico. Poppy knows how to get to Rico. But she was going about it all the wrong way within this episode until she talked to Tao. And Tao had to remind her, like, yo, you the only one who can get to this man's heart. Like, you can talk to him. Nobody else can talk to Rico. You can talk to Rico. So once she was able to get to his heart and connect to him on a deeper level where she knew it was going to penetrate she did it now we also see poppy talking to king king don't trust rico king don't trust sage king don't trust nobody only person he say he trusts is poppy so poppy's over here like can you help me convince um rico to go on this tour so he's like I don't even I don't even really like trust Rico because literally at the drop of a dime this dude switches up. Last season on High Water, we seen that, but King he was making a point when he was talking to um, Rico and they was all at his house. Poppy, Rico, and King. They was all at um Rico house. And you know, Rico, he over here talking about loyalty. Like, I you know, I need all loyalty and all this and King like loyalty, like you know, literally we were supposed to be like this, and you said we was gonna go on tour together, but when Sage gave you an opportunity, you dropped me. And you didn't and you didn't come back. And he was like, So, but two days later I walked. When I tell you, King really made me not King. Rico really made me mad when he said that because it's like you really over here gonna be like you walk two days later, like you walk two days later over King. You walk two days later because you found out uh Sage killed your dad. That had nothing to do with with uh with King. So King ain't nothing but a pawn to him. He will play with play him, move him however he wants. He does not care about King for real. And that's why King don't mess with him. And also, also, when uh Poppy and King they were talking at the restaurant, he said something, um and I really like what he said because it's just like, that's smart. That's smart of him. He was like, um, I have like a bunch of things lined up. So just in case some don't work out, I have other stuff to fall back on. I don't have just one thing to fall back on, which is the predicament that Poppy's in. Only thing she got to fall back on is literally Rico. So that's why everything is right on this. That's why she's pull, trying to pull these strings. That's why she's trying to get King, um, convince her. I mean, that's why she's trying to get King on her side to do this or whatever we know that king still likes poppy y'all remember i think it was in season one of hot water when king was dancing to poppy oh yeah oh yeah king still got feelings for poppy and poppy she did that flex thing too on, on um on king too she did that flexing thing too because she knows she got a soft spot in king heart and she knows she got a soft spot in rico heart so she played that to her advantage watch out for these women now watch out for these women who got a soft spot in your heart because literally they'll, they'll get you every single time every single time they gonna get you now we about to get back <clears throat> we about to get back to odalie and angel so Angel, she's working at this barista at High Water. Remember, Colette, she had gave her a job to work up there or whatever. Angel, she's watching Odalie and um Davis. They're kind of making up or whatever. They're on the, they're on the little seat thing or whatever. They canoodling with each other. So she's watching all this or whatever. And Davis leaves and she's telling Davis, Odalie, she's telling Davis, like, yo, like, I want to move in with you. This, that, and the third. And you know, she's talking about, I got this big Spartacus check and it'll be perfect for your brother. And it's nice walking distance. She's telling him all this or whatever. David's not really trying to hear none of this because it's like, yo, the tour just stopped. 
the tour just stopped and i don't have money to get a house mind you the price on that house was like a quarter a quarter mil that was a pricey house so it's like dang and i wonder how much that sparta check is I'm not gonna lie to you davis don't want to move in right away with Odalie and get this house because he wants to be able to make payments with her 50 50 payments he don't want no more charity he don't want her paying for stuff he don't want her doing all this and she like i believe in you babe like i know what's gonna happen but he don't feel comfortable doing that it's that pride in him it's that man in him that's like you know i want to be able to provide so i understand why he wouldn't because he don't want to feel like she paying for everything she doing everything for him he wants to feel like he can provide and do stuff for her but i mean come on odalee is rich davis didn't really come from nothing so it's like you know what it was when you got with her and that's the point that odalee was kind of making when she was talking to angel like yeah we're always fighting about money 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 is the thing that they always fighting for because odalee got the shit davis be up and down up and down up and down up and down a lot but um we get to see odalee and angel they finally meet each other like officially finally meet each other and they over you know they exchange numbers and they supposed to be going out to hang out the next day so they're going out hanging out and while they're in the street um odalee spartica video is playing in the streets and like these girls they're dancing to it and they eventually they start dancing with them or but after they get done dancing in the street with these little girls um angel she's trying to convince odalee like hey you said you want this dream house this is the dream house you want let's just go and check it out so odalee's like okay we can go and check it out so they get to the place or whatever and they end up having a picnic in the doggone house they dancing and they drinking why are they doing all of this tell me why i think odalee and angel got a little feeling for each other no 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 because i know when girls like each other I know when girls like each other, you know that feel, you know that feeling when you like know somebody like you, or it's like that unspoken like, mm, like you if you notice when they were dancing, the 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 vibe changed in their dance. It know it went from like a friendly vibe dance to like, girl, you say the right things, you might get what you want. <laughs> But they look like they was liking, they look like they like each other. Like they got this line going boom. But they got interrupted because Angel got a text from this dude named JJ or something. She got a text from some dude. She got a text from some dude and she had love. So after that, we get to see Sage and Rico. They finally meet up with each other. They finally agree to meet up, meet up with each other. And after that, he basically run the tour, kind of. Like, he's getting 60% of the earnings, Sage getting 40, um, full creative control, and all that extra shit. Woo -woo. So, <laughs> tell me why, tell me why uh, Poppy, she and, uh, she the uh, director, she in creative control, she the choreographer, and um, when they get there, everybody finds out the tour is back on, and and Odalee, you know, she, everybody dancing like they about to get ready to uh, for rehearsals to start up. Tell me why Poppy over here like Odalee, back of the line. Odalee looking like what? Odalee, you, you now you know don't nobody like you for real, especially Poppy. I I like oh, Odalee grew on me. Odalee grew on me, but this season I'm really side eyed and only I'm side eyeing Odalee because it's like don't don't do my dude davis wrong first of all you want a whole relationship and you over here dancing with doggone angel what you dancing with angel for she gonna end up stealing her spot she is going to end up stealing her spot and if she don't watch out davis davis gonna be girlfriendless okay and angel gonna steal his girlfriend so i don't like angel because it, i'm side on her heart watch out for her but after that happened uh that's really it that's it for this video y'all step it up hot water season three episode two i 
enjoyed it and i can't wait to see what happened and also i cannot wait until we see colette get what she got coming for her i do not like colette she really playing everybody like a fiddle for real we don't talk about that when that comes up but anyway y'all that's it for today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe that's it.